Hi guys, so I'm coming to you from a different sort of backdrop just cause I thought I would do a very quick, easy, fresh face makeup and this is what I generally do in the morning without, you know, my general backdrop setup. So as you can see, I have a clean face and I've just woken up. So, so this video is just going to be showing you how I do my morning routine as well as what I do on an everyday if I want a fresh face. Just a bit of a sneak peek, I'll be using these three products from Glossier. It's their Supers collection. This one is called Super Pure. It's a serum as well as Super Glow in this really nice peachy pink kind of a finishing as well as the Super Bounce. I'll be using a combination of these three just because I've been using them on an everyday so that I can achieve a really nice and skincare prepped base for the day and also it just keeps my skin looking really fresh and very natural looking and I find that with the combination of these serums it just makes everything look a lot more more natural than it would on its own so this is inspired by these products and let's just get started okay so my bun is looking really really weird <laughs> I'm just gonna retie it just cuz let's not look too atrocious even though every morning I really really look quite disastrous but you know that's just how life is but for you guys I will tie a ponytail a decent ponytail that doesn't look too crazy it still looks crazy but anyways let's just get started so for starters I usually like to cleanse my face and before I use the serum I go in with the Son & Park Beauty Water as you can see here I use a cotton pad so I just dab a little bit on it and then I just cleanse my face like how I would with any micellar water so for these three really cool serums, I don't use them in any particular order. On days where I feel like using the pure, I will just use the pure. When I feel like using the glow, I'll use it on its own. Or if I feel like using the bounce, I'll use it on its own as well. Or I generally, in this demonstration, I'll be using all three in combination in no particular order. So there's no need to feel really worried whether you should use it in sequential steps or need to use it in order. That kind of gets really difficult to manage in the morning, but yeah. I'm just going to be showing you how I use this. So in no particular order, I'm just going to be using the Super Pure first. As you can see, it's just this really standard serum like tube so it has a squeezy tube and instructions just say to calm breakout prone skin and redness use dropper apply on clean face and light dabbing motion so that's what I'm gonna do. So as you can see if I take it out it's just a standard dropper. So I'm just gonna put about two drops, rub it at the palm of my hand and dab it into my face. Next I'm using the Super Bounce. This one has hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5 and it's likewise a serum. So the instructions say to ease and soften tight and rough skin, use dropper, apply on clean face and same dab it into the face. So looks like that. I'm going to use about the same amount. And last but not least, the Super Glow. I love this one just because it's really cute and yeah, it just makes everything come together. This more so than the other two. This one's really runny, so you do have to be careful. It says to brighten and energize dull, tired skin. Use dropper and clean face as well as dabbing it into the skin. So as you can see, it's super, super runny. It's just a very, very like water-based kind of a serum. As you can see, my skin looks really dewy at this point and I just find that this is a great base to start off with. Okay, so for my morning routine, I have been trying out this Super Blemish Balm. And as you can see, there's a really, really iconic BB cream that has been used for many years. And I think they newly launched a few different ranges within the line, but this is from Skin79. So I've been using this one in the orange. I believe this one has more of a yellow undertone and that's why I picked it up. So yeah, I've been loving trying this. So I like to put like a very decent amount. So it's just about that much and in combination with the Skin79 BB cream so as you can see this one is quite a little amount I like to use the Shantakai anti-aging tinted moisturizer 
as well so this is my favorite if i ever use this on its own i find that it gives a lot of coverage so i like to mix it in with other products sometimes i just add a little bit more to the concoction and i mix it with my finger so the combination of the two just make for a very perfect and light base i apply it in the center of my face So moving on to concealer, um, with that combination you see that actually it covers quite a bit and also I don't need that much concealer so I like to emphasize that if you do use enough product you might want to skip concealer but for this purpose I will just show you what concealer I've been using. So I've been really liking the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer so it looks like that. It's really really good. I think that it's way better than the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. It's one that's a little underrated but yeah, um, it's really lightweight and it gives the skin a very very natural finish. So that's how everything looks at the moment. So just really fresh face and really natural. So at this point, I just want to introduce another 3O set just because I've been really liking the combination of using really similar product from similar brand lines. I've been using these three cream products from Tata Harper and they are known to be a skincare brand but they are really organic and very natural base ingredients and they really show to be quality products while being a environmentally safe in terms of the ingredients that they possess. So yeah, I've been using their blush, their contour as well as their cream highlight after I do my makeup base just because I don't want anything to look too cakey as well as I still want it to maintain a very hydrated appearance just so that if I go to work in the air conditioned environment it doesn't dry out my skin too much. So yeah, I'll just be showing you how I use these. I like to use it with a e.l.f. stippling brush. I just go into the product gently like this. And then I just start bronzing in the areas where I need. I usually start with that contouring motion. So as you can see in terms of like adding definitions, really natural and it's like a cream product so it blends away really easily. So yeah, after which I just move on to the blush. As you can see it's just a really really fun pop of peachy pink and yeah, I use a stippling brush as well. So likewise, it's just super easy to use once you have this brush. You can use it for any cream product and it gives a very natural and easy to blend finish. So as you can see, it's just really, really natural and also it just gives a very healthy and rosy flush to the cheeks which I really enjoy. Okay, so last but not least for the illuminator, I generally use this as a base for my nose highlight and the high points of my face. I just like rub it in quite, um, you know, it's not too precise. I just try to be a little bit methodical with where I place it. I generally just do it at the tops of my nose, the tops of my cheeks. Alright, then I'll just start doing my brows. I've been liking the Colourpop brow pencil. Alright, so moving on to the eyes, I use the NARS Pro Prime. This is a new bottle. I've been using it for about two to three years now, so I thought I'd purchase a new bottle. I was scraping the barrel with my old one, so this just keeps everything in place, especially if you have mono lids, Asian eyes, or even hooded lids. So actually, I just do a very simple eye just to give it a little bit more definition with the standout brows. I take my Viseart palette and go in with a nude shade. I wash that all over the eye. Going in with my MAC 286, I go in with a deeper matte brown. So 
So really, really simple stuff, nothing too precise. As you can see, it just gives the eyelid a little bit more of a shading effect. Then I go in with the Makeup Geek Caffeine Lights Highlighting Palette. I usually take, you know, this pale gold shade and I do my inner corner highlight. So once that's done, I am almost done. I use my eyelash colors and I put a little bit of mascara. And if you guys know, I've only been using exclusively this Heroin Make Advanced Curl Volume and Curl Mascara. So it's waterproof as well as it gives really sparse and fine lashes a bit of definition. So likewise, like I mentioned, I generally go over my highlight a little more. I take the highlight in the Charlotte Tilbury palette, just because it's a really pale, almost pearly kind of a gold. I line my lips with this Colourpop lip liner in the shade Chi. And then I go in with my Juicy Shaker from Lancome. It's like a cocktail shaker thing. And that's the final look. So I'm just going to undo my hair. And that is the whole routine and nothing too difficult. It's actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it. And like I mentioned, a lot of these steps you can skip out if you're not used to it or anything like that. But for me personally, I really really like this whole routine if I incorporate everything. So I guess you could call this a really high maintenance kind of a morning makeup routine just because with all the serums that I use, it does induce a very nice glow to the skin. But let Let's say you don't want to achieve that and you're not too keen, you could use one of the serums, you could use one BB cream, but yeah, in order to achieve a really dewy and very fresh face appearance, I generally go all out in terms of that because I do have really dull and sallow skin as you saw before, but yeah, I really really like it and if you do want to achieve this kind of a glow as well, it can be done. So it's not like something that cannot be achieved or anything that is only suited for certain kind of people. It can be achieved as long as you put in the time and effort, but yeah, that's how I do it And some days I don't go all out. I just put a bit of concealer and I head out But yeah, this is everything in action and I hope you guys enjoyed it And if you have any questions do leave it down below and yeah If you like this style of a video do let me know as well so that I can continue producing content that you guys want to watch So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Do give it a thumbs up Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Was there something up my nose the whole time? I hope not. <laughs> Bye guys.